to Hugo Lowell. Um, about city? No, okay. about the um, Mar-a-Lago <laughs> documents case. And I'm curious, we have now these um, legal experts. We have the former attorney general and Ty Cobb saying Trump could even see jail time here. And just reading into the details of this, every time I read into this, I am just shocked at the stupidity of those... Uh, honestly, a former President Trump, uh, moving documents in and out of his office before and after the subpoena and, I guess, having people do it for him. Can you fill us in on, I guess, what looks the worst out of this case? Yeah, I mean, great week for Guardiola, terrible legal week for Trump. Um, that'll be my soccer contribution in the morning. Um, there you go. <laughs> but at the heart of this case now for the Justice Department and the special counsel, is what was going on with the movement of boxes when Trump was subpoenaed for the classified documents last year. And, you know, the, the lawyer, Evan Corcoran, Trump's lawyer at the time, took contemporaneous notes, and that got subpoenaed and ended up before the grand jury, and we got a readout of some of the contents of the notes. And it really highlights the fact that Trump was warned he could not keep any of these classified documents. He was informed about his subpoena obligations. And so when the subsequent response to the subpoena was incomplete, that becomes a problem for the former president, and it becomes a problem for his legal team. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff in the notes about how uh, the valet had unusually detailed knowledge about where uh, the lawyer was conducting his searches, when he was conducting the searches. The valet even wanted to help him conduct the searches uh, for classified documents. And I think the special counsel's office is looking at this as the core, the heart of the obstruction investigation.